What's up guys? Slapstick here. What's going on? What we're gonna do today? Uh, I was just floating around and I thought, wow, that would be cool if we could check out some of the old worlds that I used to play on. Some of the old servers that I've run and, you know, you think about how much uh, things change when you're growing as a builder or, you know, you just grow as a person and, and you realize, wow, you know, what I used to do was awful and I'm not saying I'm a great builder now but I think I've improved considerably over what I used to do so hopefully we can uh, see what kind of changes I've made and um, see how I've improved what I what I'm excited to see I, I don't remember a lot about my very first world which I believe I started back in like 2013 so I'm gonna be a little excited to see what I did and you know all the goofiness that we used to do back then so it's gonna be kinda cool what is it nearly seven years later well no it's a little over seven years later this is uh, I think the the date on the file was March 2013 so seven years later this is what we've got Let's go ahead and hop back and see what we started with. And here we are. Welcome to 1.12. Uh, had to load in an old save uh, or an old uh, profile. <laughs> Notice my man has no skin. He's invisible or something. This, this is the first thing I notice. I can't see my feet. Oh no, I can't see my feet. Like in the uh, current version, that's kind of sad. So, <laughs> some of the different things that you miss, that you didn't even know that you missed. Um, got me some protection armor, very nice, very nice. Now this was a world that we did what did I say, like early 2013? So I think 1.4 was out. And when I started this world, it was just me by myself. And there was this cave. And it kind of curled around up the mountain and went up to there, up to a cave that way, which we will see. And that was all I had. I had this, this cave th that went up here, and that was it. And this was a... Uh, <laughs> I just realized there's a lot of torches around here too. My goodness, nothing was spawning in here. Um, so yeah, I, I started out with this cave and let me tell you, when I first started this game, glass was everything. So every chance I had to put glass in, that was gonna be it. That was the block. Um, starting out here, we have our little armory. Very fancy, definitely. Nothing in it. At least nothing overly important. So yeah, lots of paintings. I loved paintings. I noticed all the walls are just stone. And I put little fancy stuff on the floor here and there. And there's a lot of cobblestone. You know, way back when cobblestone was the thing. Uh, we'll get to this hallway here in a second. We're going to head up to the workshop, and there are signs everywhere. Again, glass, you know, because my little cave poked out here, so got to put in some glass. Very nice, and there's a pathway. I forget what goes over there. We're going to have to check that out. Ooh, I think, uh, I think this house caught on fire. I was actually very proud of that house. That was the, the visitor center, I believe. That looks like there was a mine down there. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been in this world for a long time. Many, many years. Uh, this was my original storage room. And eventually I got rid of it, turned it into an auto smelting room. And then it looks like I've tore that out too. So I, I don't remember what happened there. Um, <laughs> this guy. I forget what we named him, like Fred or something. Old Fred here, he's been around for a long time. 
as soon as I learned that you could make iron golems, I made one. And, uh, and he's been here ever since. Yep, just walking around the base. This is all he does. He walks up here, and then he walks down there. And then he walks back up here. And sometimes you see him, sometimes you don't. Uh, this was just storage, I believe, for items to be smelted. And here is the glorious map. We're going to learn more about some of the things on this map. The, the old maps don't have a lot of color to them, do they? But you will notice there's this giant wooden structure. That is no longer here. That was a boat that I was building and didn't work out. So I believe this was just for decoration. Um, but this one over here was the water vader. And it goes all the way up and all the way down to the top and the bottom of the base. Uh, for now I'm just going to climb this ladder because I think... Yes, there is a room up here. I don't think I put anything in here. I was very proud of this. If you look down here, I, I put torches all the way around with glass. I don't know why I was proud of it, but that's what I did. And then I found glowstone later and I did this. So, yeah, you, you tell me which one looks more impressive. Because I know which one does. Alright, once we climb to the top of this ladder, we're going to see what was the firework room or observatory or whatever this thing was. Just a giant glass box on top of the mountain. And I had a firework dispenser in there. I don't think there's any more fireworks because you had to break the glass to put fireworks in it. And then, yeah, that kind of kind of spoiled the fun because then you got to go find a piece of glass to put back. And this was also built before snow would uh, fall up here. So, yeah, it, it looked a little bit different. That update kind of changed a lot of the look of a lot of things. But still fancy. Very nice. Very nice. We can kind of see the, the castle wall that was built later. And then we can start to see the town hall over there. And then a bunch of these funky looking little houses that the guys later built when they were added. And we created a server. This was <laughs> the... Oh, like a some smeltery or, or something like that. It's basically a big cobblestone generator. I don't know why we built it or needed it or whatever. And then you can see a castle way over yonder. And this is crazy to me because I, I remembered these things, but I remembered them much farther away than they actually are. The render distance was much lower when I used to play because I had a terrible computer and I could not really play with more than like 12 render distance. So yeah, when when you crank it up to 32, whoo buddy, looky there. We're going to go all the way down this water vader and this was that little hallway that I had mentioned earlier. This was the later edition of the um, storage room. And some of these blocks are missing back here because this used to be an item sorter and then it broke and I gave up on trying to fix it every five seconds. So one of the very early editions of the item sorters when the hoppers first came out and they weren't very not much different than the ones we have now, but they, they were harder for someone who was starting out, I guess. Um, these are all just more storage area, and then this was access to the redstone, which I ripped out because I wanted for a different project. And I believe this was a spider farm. Yes! In case of jam, add peanut butter. Um, so 
This was a terrible, terrible spider farm, but I used it so much because I didn't know what else to do. So... Maybe it was more. Maybe it's just a mob farm in general. Oh, I did. Anyway, I don't want to go in there. Basically, there was a couple of spawning pads clear in the back. And then they would all get pushed into this room and drown. But frequently, they wouldn't drown. They get stuck right there. Now, opposite the hallway of our um, sorting system room, I created this little dining area. And we're, you know, lots of chairs and seating. And it was supposed to store all the food that we could use because, again, like I said, I, I created this world by myself originally and then later added uh, three more people and then we had people coming on going every once in a while, so... Yeah, but that, that room didn't get used very much. And then this was a mine shaft and a prison. I don't know why the the prison is clear back here. I forget what happened and why this was here. I think this was access into the redstone. Again, very early days of Minecraft. I had no idea what I was doing, so... Um, we used to have a, a zombie guy back here, Dr. Philip G. Er, and I think he died, sadly, most likely. Oh yeah, that that is what happened. The Philip Killer was Frosty the Pumpkin. I forgot we used to have pumpkins or um, snowmen everywhere. And I think these are more jail cells back here I, I guess I I don't know what we were doing back here so after exiting the mine we pop back up here and let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, this rain oh wow these uh, forgot how different the commands were or I guess not so much very different, but they are quite different. And we're going to pop out here. And I covered that sign for specific reasons. Um, let's see, where do we want to go? Let's go to the library. And then we'll head up to the roof. This was the second area that I kind of finished, quote unquote. And the coolest thing about the library um, was the sheer amount of secret doors that were in here. I guess not like a, a ridiculous amount, but there were a few secret doors. Um, some of them have been revealed. Beware the signster! I forgot. That was Sam, by the way. Uh, from our current server. Um, so I, I discovered the trick that a lot of people were using where you could put a, a painting over a sign turned sideways on a wall and then you could walk through the painting and no one would know it was there. And I... I think I had something like that set up here. I, I don't know exactly what happened. There might be... Oh, yep, yep, there's one there. Secret hiding place. Um, but when you pull this lever, there's a secret door here in the books. And I think there was one here, too. Because I don't remember... I did not build this. I don't know what this is. Huh. This might have been Sam as well? It's gotta be because he likes to use the little smiley face. What 
do they have in here? Not much. And then this was where the uh, very first. I don't remember the ceiling. Someone must have changed that when I wasn't looking. Is there a. Yeah, there's one right here. This is Sam's storage. Look at all his fancy things. And I believe there's one back here too. Yep. I don't know what was back here though. Jellyfish are made of three kinds of cells. Who knew? Uh, the, this was where our original, um, whatchamacallit, our nether portal. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Our original nether portal. And then also had like the secret evil science lab down here. Which looked out over the, well, I guess kind of over the city. Oh, I forgot about that place too. We'll have to check that out. And then if we come all the way up here, we can see I had a way to uh, shut this door and also lock it from inside. Um, this was the nether portal room. And I had it hidden for some reason. I forget why. I want to do hide it. Do not remember. It's been so long. And then I believe there was a door. Oh, that one doesn't work anymore either. But it is open. Uh, this was also Sam's. He had an enchanting room. And then there used to be like 50 bazillion dogs down here. But they are no more. Next stop on our trip will be the Docking Dome and Rec Center. Uh, this was a ridiculous project that I just felt like taking on at the time and did not understand how ridiculous it was. But first we have this beautiful uh, rail ride all the way up the mountain. Alright, we can... Oh wow, there's a lot of minecarts up here. And more minecarts. Alright, so this was... Let me think. This was the rec center? Originally? You were supposed to be able to uh, ride the rail to the docking dome or to the rec center. And I didn't fully understand minecarts at the time. Uh, so yeah, rec center. If we pop down here, I don't think I ever did anything down here. Uh, originally, this was going to be a bowling alley and a basketball court or something like that, and I I never finished it. So, yeah. I think this was the basketball court, and then the bowling alley was going to go down there. Never finished it. Big surprise. But perhaps my most crowning achievement when it comes to failures is the docking dome. Why, you might ask? Well, first off, we just have a giant glass thing out here for whatever reason. Um, but also, I thought, ooh, what would be cooler than a giant docking dome? The docking dome is a air transport center where you can purchase tickets. They are closed Monday through Friday and weekends. And also, this is your lunch train. Now, why was the docking dome created? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. Um, I, I saw somebody had built uh, one of those flying boats in Minecraft. 
And I thought, hey, that would be cool to build a, a transport center for things like that. And this was about as far as I got. This boat here. And then the gigantic boat that was supposed to be right here. I got sick of building it and I burnt it down. Well, I burnt most of it down. But this was much later when we were about ready to move on to a new world anyway, so... Yeah, that's how far that got. Well, this is about all I have time for today. And hopefully we'll be able to look at this world some more, because I'm having some throwback moments going on here, and it's a lot of fun. So, if you want to see more, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that nonsense. And we will get to this a little bit later. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.